What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be taking a look at a guitar by a company called Hadian. It's the EA100NA, that guy right there. What's unique about it is it has nylon strings, but offers the comfort and playability of an electric guitar while giving you that classical tone you're looking for. It's a unique guitar, particularly in the sense that it's under $200. So the real question is, is it worth it? Let's find out. All right, this is indeed the Hadian. I know what matters most to you guys, you all wanna hear how it sounds. So what I'm gonna do first is fire it up and keep in mind that my finger picking is not very good. So be a little forgiving and be kind there, but it'll give you an idea of how the guitar sounds and what you can expect when you get it home and plug it in. One thing I wanted to talk about with this guitar is the neck, okay? It's not nearly as fat as some of the classical instruments that you'll come across, uh, but it's also not as thin as an electric guitar. And I think someone else uh, pointed out in another review that it was similar to a Les Paul, and in terms of a Les Paul traditional, the feeling is nearly identical. Um, it's about the same width, and the neck radius is the same. They both have a 12-inch neck radius. So the guitars feel very similar in that sense. Uh, with that said, there is uh, 22 frets, all right, and a cutaway here, which allows you to reach pretty much all the way up. Um, you know, another thing to have a good look at here is the overall fit and finish. And it's hard to tell from the camera, but it actually has quite a nice finish on it. It was, I was quite surprised uh, when it arrived because it is, uh, it is not the finish I expected from an unknown brand, just buying on a whim, sub $200. It has a, the fit and finish of a much more expensive guitar. Okay, and what you're gonna see here is, you know, your built-in tuner. I'm gonna try to get you a better shot of that that I'll fill in over this because it does have some things on the EQ there. Namely, uh, what you're gonna have is volume, treble, middle, bass, and uh, a phase in and out, uh, and a tuner, obviously built in. The tuner works quite well. I haven't had any issues with it. I've changed the battery once, I think maybe twice since I've had it. Um, other than that, it has worked uh, as it should. Uh, with that said, the tuners on it are surprisingly strong. Uh, they have a good feel to them. They don't feel weak at all. Uh, on a cheaper guitar, sometimes the tuners are really the area where they, they go cheap. I never really felt like I had to replace these. They seem to do the job. They're tight. They have a good, uh, you know, a good hard turn on them. So that was a big plus to this guitar. As I mentioned before, uh, it's not without its faults. And a couple of the things where they really do go cheap on this guitar are unfortunately the fretwork. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell because I'll hold it a little close to my mic. Can you hear that? Yeah, it's a rough fret, right? Um, so you have that issue. The frets are rough and really unfinished, unpolished. They're sharp on the edges. They need to be filed down. And the good news is this is actually quite simple stuff to fix. Really all you need is a fret file. You can get one cheap. You don't even need a fret file. You can simply go to Home Depot and get a file that you can accomplish this with. And I plan to do that. I left it this way for the sake of this video because I wanted you guys to be able to, you know, hear the, uh, hear the issue, hear the issue with the, uh, with the frets. 
Um, but that said, I I'm willing to overlook that because, again, sub $200, and to get anything similar, you're going to be out a lot of coin. And this is a, a unique guitar. This is one of those things where when I bought it, I wasn't sure, am I going to play this a lot? And the truth is, it's really kind of replaced a lot of the acoustic stuff I was doing uh, in recording. It, rather than use a steel string acoustic guitar, I have replaced it with this guitar because of the sound. And I really like the fact that the nylon is easy to play. A couple of things I wanted to mention uh, in passing is it is a bolt-on neck. Okay, um, I figured that went without saying, but wanted to mention it anyway. The strings that they ship it with are not good. I left these on here because I wanted you to hear it exactly as I got it. I actually think the tone will improve with a little bit better nylon string. Um, outside of that, there's nothing too crazy that I needed to mention. Uh, I think it's a, uh, it's a very solid buy for what it is if you're looking for this sort of thing and you're not sure, like me, if you're not sure you're going to play it, because that was my issue. It's like if I, if, I, if I drop a grand on a Godin, am I actually going to play that guitar that much? And the truth is, I think I probably would after owning one of these because I haven't touched any of my steel string acoustics since owning it. In fact, I haven't even touched my regular electrics as much because I've been playing this guitar so frequently. I've been working with uh, you know, a couple of other musicians and this is really, uh, I hate to admit it, it's become one of my go-to guitars uh, for the price point. It, it feels almost bizarre. So, you know, after doing this video, I plan on fixing the fret work up and uh, I, I could see this guitar being an insane player with uh, the fret work done. So, you know, if you're in that market, I highly recommend it. Just understand what you're getting. Understand that you may need to do some fret work and that the fret edges are going to be sharp. So, you know, understand that. But outside of that, I highly recommend this guitar. Last but not least, it was purchased from Rondo Music. I can drop a link in the description for you guys. Uh, at the moment, they are currently out of stock at the time of making this video. Hopefully, they'll have some in soon. I had to wait for them to come back in. They seem to come in and out of stock at random times. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope it was informative for you. If you're like me and you were looking for something like this but didn't want to break your budget, uh, you know, I recommend it. I absolutely, I think, I think most people knowing what they're getting into with this and knowing that you're going to have a little bit of fret issue, and again, that kind of thing can be fixed if you're so inclined, uh, it's, it's definitely worth the money. I'm not a classical guitar player, but I've always kind of wanted to dabble with something like this. So to be able to get in at this price point without breaking my bank and in the event that I didn't like it, I could get out without it costing me a lot of money uh, was really, for me, uh, enticing. So with that said, uh, I hope it helps you make a decision. And uh, again, any questions, comments, please drop them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.